Hi, I'm Peter Holcomb. This is my wife, Kathy Holcomb. Hi. We're part of Famagogo. We travel as a threesome with our daughter, Abby. We um, travel full time all over North America. We love to whitewater kayak. We love to rock climb. We love to mountain bike, ski, snowboard, ice climb, you name it. We love to do it. I want to show you something really special today, something I'm very excited about. This is the Winnebago Revel. It is a four x four adventure van. Um, let's take a look. It's Peter's dream vehicle. So, first off, you know, it's obvious just looking at the tires, this has the BF Goodrich TA KO2 off-road tires. These things are burly. They can take rocks, ruts. They're um, super tough. They're on beautiful black wheels. Um, it has running boards underneath here that actually you can flip on a light and the whole work area outside of it lights up. Um, it has an awning. It has a roof rack, which is critical for us carrying our kayaks along. Um, you can get it with an air conditioner on top if you want, and that's kind of nice if you're somewhere hot. Um, but let's go on inside and take a peek here at what we got. So one big sliding door. Very cool, very easy to get in and out and get your gear in and out. It has a flip down table here. There's a leg that goes on, comes down, so outside becomes inside. And there's another table here that flips out and extends your countertop and your kitchen area. But Come as you on see, in, I'll show you the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> as you see, you've got a, a, a step here that makes it easier to get in here. Okay, so to start off, we've got an iPad holder so you can watch your favorite movies at night. Or we've got a sink that um, unfolds and you have running water, which is always a plus, especially when you're camping in the desert. You've got an induction burner so you're not wasting power. You can boil water in a minute. Um, down underneath, we've got storage and drawers. We've the drawers got... are secure latches. You push these in, pull it out, it opens. You push it in and it's locked shut. That's Great. really handy when you're driving on rough roads to keep your all the stuff in your drawers from popping out. And we've got a refrigerator down here that runs on solar power. So you flip the switch, lift the lever, and cold beer right there. Hey, there's my orange juice. <laughs> and then back here we have a full bathroom. So you've got a toilet, you've got a shower. Um, we tend to not use our shower because we like to conserve water, so it's great for storage. You can add shelves. Great gear closet. All right, come on back. Are you doing ready? Okay, so inside the Revel, obviously we have lights, which is really great at night. There are LED lights. They don't use very much power at all. We've got our control center here. This is a lot of the controls. It's everything from the heater and the air conditioning the thermostat. So here you have the ZAMP solar controller. This basically tells you how much power is coming in through your solar panels, how much power is in your batteries, and how long it's gonna maybe last uh, based off of amp hours. Then over here, you can turn your tanks, you can check your tank levels and see how much fresh water you have and how full or empty your gray and black water tanks are. On here, you've got a battery level indicator that'll tell you not only your house batteries, how much, how much power they have in them for running your lights and everything else, but it also tells you your, your coach battery and how much it is if you wanna start your engine. So it gives you a warning if you feel like you're about to run those down. You can start the coach off the house batteries. So say you forget and leave your headlights on and you go into a, a movie and you come back out and your coach won't start, you flip a switch and you can start it off the batteries that have been charging all day from the solar. So that's kind of a nice little backup. Um, let's see here, you've also got your furnace and your hot water heater and you can turn on different fans. Um, you've got an inverter built in. This allows you to plug regular AC plugs into the outlets that are scattered about the van and run any kind of normal household appliances. That's really great for me being a photographer. I can charge all my batteries and keep everything up and going. Um, the windows in here are really cool. These windows are double pane acrylic. I say it's acrylic, it's a double pane window. It's probably something more super than acrylic, but it's, they're awesome. They go out like an ice cream truck and you can basically have these things open in the rain and they, they're awesome. They have a built-in shade so you can let the air in, but keep the light out and you can also keep the bugs out. Really cool. 
So I like these a lot. We've used these in the winter and they're super efficient at keeping the heat in. Let's see. Once again, we have more storage up here. There's kind of storage scattered all throughout this. There's a really nice um, pantry right here for the normal stuff, cans and rolls of paper towels, loaves of bread, you know, really whatever you want. There's um, four levels here. That's cool. Okay, so another thing that's really handy living in a small space is having the ability to maximize your space or everything needs to serve more than one function. So in this case, the driver's seat and the passenger seat both have these great spinning bases that allow you to rotate the seat back around and make a nice living area. This one will spin too. So now you can hang out here. You've got a dinette here. You've got a table system that pops up here. You've got a place to eat dinner, work on the laptop, whatever you might need to do. It's super comfy. Okay, so we'll put the table away. It just flips right down like that, super easy. There's power outlets actually right down here. So like when I'm working on my computer, that's something really important is that you have easy access to power. Um, there's more little USB outlets scattered throughout. There's two right here, there's two in the back. Um, that's great for charging phones and any kind of USB based device. Okay, so we've gotten to our place. We've made dinner, we've hung out, we've gotten some work done. Oh, I'm getting tired. Let's check out the back and look at where you might wanna lay down for the night. So, we've got double, double back doors, opens up super wide. Cool thing about the Mercedes Sprinter van is you can actually open these doors up and articulate them even wider. So if you wanna get something really wide in there, it's kinda nice. We've got, a hose fitting here for an outdoor shower. There's also one in the front sliding door. That's really great for all kinds of things. Um, got a water pump switches here so you can turn it all off and on. On the other side, we've got more AC plugs that go through the inverter. And we also have two USB outlets for charging smaller things. We have these really amazing tie down points. These are quick release. Um, there's just a little snap but you slide it in the track and you spin it and it's locked down and this is full strength you could tie down mountain bikes really anything that you don't want to shift and travel um full trailer hitch lighting you just plug and play there super easy and then we step up into the inside so right now i'm in the garage awesome storage space you can get bikes smaller kayaks you know really anything could go back here it's really great. But then as I go back here, I'm gonna flip a magic switch and you're gonna watch, it's gonna transform from a garage into a bedroom. Check it out. Look at that. <laughs> kind of like a tree house, suspended. Um, but once it goes down here, it locks into place. The mattresses go the whole length if you notice on the outside, there's these little bump out pods. What that's for is to give you more sleeping space and more interior room. So I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna crawl in here and I'm gonna show you, and I didn't think this was possible when I first saw it, but I, I'm laying here and I'm not touching at the head and I'm not touching at the feet. And I'm totally in here. <laughs> room for two. Um, it's, is that me? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Take off my shoes. All right, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> so pretty comfy. Sleep anywhere you want. Another cool little double pane window here. So you've got ventilation, you've got a bug screen, you've got darkness, you've got everything. <laughs> what more could a girl ask for? <laughs> and there's an optional air conditioning unit that's up above here. And if we were plugged in to an electrical line, we would turn this on and it would have our AC. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, I, like, I like that the AC is right above the bed because that's when I'm gonna use my AC is most of the time just sleeping in hot climates. We usually try to avoid hot climates. 
but um, sometimes going from one optimal climate to another, you have to cross through a hot climate. So it's kind of <laughs> nice having this. Um, like I said a second ago, there is a track system here. You can put an iPad in like a RAM mount. Um, they call it an X grip. It allows you to put an iPad. It articulates, it goes anywhere you want, and it can turn your iPad into a home theater system. That's kind of cool. Everything in this van is multi-purpose and versatile. And so that's why using things like that, you know, they could have built in a TV, they could have done all this other fancy stuff, but really, you know, um, I'm hoping that most people that buy this van are out doing amazing things and not sitting around watching TV. So, so up above, you have a lot of storage space as well. I'm gonna show you a few things about that. I'm gonna shut the doors. We have a modular ladder system. This might be the first one I know about where you unscrew this wing nut. It's very secure. There's no way it's gonna come off going down the road. You unscrew this and watch this. The ladder detaches. Now I can take this ladder over here on the side and I can put it here. Boom, and I can climb up. Or I decide, well, that's not exactly where I want to be. I want to be here in the middle. I can put it there and I can climb up. Super easy if you want to put bikes, boats, skis, um, storage boxes, you name it. I do have 200 watt solar panels on the roof. You know, it's nice with solar panels. They don't work so good if they're dirty. So I occasionally will get up here and wash them off. It's really handy. You get to somewhere where you want to plug in and have a little more power than the solar can give you. You've got a shore power plug right here. Comes with a big long burly cable. Plug it right in, plug it into the wall, you're set. Um, over here we've got the city fill for water. You just hook a hose up to any faucet and you can fill your tanks with water. To empty your gray water tanks, you've got a valve right here and you put a hose on it and you can run it right into any you know, RV dump station. But this is just kitchen water. Um, if you use the shower, it's shower water. So this isn't the, the um, black tank, which is the toilet. The toilet resides right here and this is a really great convenient system, especially for a vehicle this size. You've got this cool little trap door and then I reach in here and this is directly under the toilet, but there is a cassette that comes out here. Now this is where all the, the dirty work goes, but um, this is really great because there's a trap door here that closes off. Um, this automatically opens when it's in, so you can use the toilet freely. But when you wanna dump this, you pull this nozzle out, you unscrew this little cap, and you can take this to any porta potty, to any pit toilet, to any normal toilet, you know, anywhere you might be out and about and there's like a forest service bathroom, you can just dump this thing freely and um, you don't have to find, you know, like an RV dump station or anything to empty your toilet. That's really nice. And it's easy to carry. And to go back in, it's got these little wheels and you just slide it in, boom. This is the responsible way to use your bathroom in the woods. Um, it can be disposed of properly, sanitarily, and you're not leaving trash and things out in the woods for other people to discover. One thing that most people who own Sprinter vans might or might not know is that this bumper is a built-in step. This windshield is big. It is beautiful when you look out of it as you're going down the road, but when it gets bugs all over it, you wanna be able to clean it. So being that it's so high up, a lot of people don't realize that you can step here and stand up on this step on the bumper and clean your windshield. It gives you like a lot better access to the windshield. All right, with everything being multifunction, we've got a little countertop extension here, which is really great when you're cooking. Gives you a little more room. There's still room to get in and out of the door, which is pretty nice. But there's a little hidden latch under here. You flip that, this whole thing comes down and makes what looks like might be a funny table, but what it actually does is that we pair it with the cushion 
from the dinette, this snaps into place and it makes a third bed. Okay, so something that's really handy, if it's a little drizzly rainy, you wanna make, once again, inside, outside, um, you basically have an awning. This awning is electric, it's powered. So I just flip this switch here and out it comes. Super easy. I've had other awnings where you have to turn a little um, crank wrench and crank it out. They always seem to get messed up and never work as good and you'd end up therefore never using them that much. This awning is so convenient and so easy, you're going to want to use it all the time. So this awning, if it gets too windy, it'll automatically retract itself and bring it back in, which is really great because that's how most, most awnings die is from wind. Okay, so there it was. That's the 4x4 Winnebago Revel Adventure Van. So cool, you gotta have one. See ya.